YouTube, greetings, greetings to you guys. As you can see, I'm in my car right now. I am about to go into the gym and get these gains here real quick. You guys know I've been working out. I'm going to go in here for this hour session with my trainer and get this money. But I want to make this video and talk about my schedule, my language schedule. Now, many of you know that I'm doing Finnish and Polish right as of right now. Those languages are going to be in the rotation for a long time. And I don't plan on uh, stopping those languages anytime soon. However, I have two more languages that I'm about to uh, add to this arsenal. Now, you guys know every year I told you that um, I do four languages. I choose four languages I work on during the year. Um, next year, we got about a couple more months in this year. And I told you guys I was going to do Hungarian. So the two languages that are about to um, get started on here soon are Hungarian and Macedonian. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to make a separate video um, looking for a native speaker of Macedonia. I'm probably going to start that in November. Maybe, let me see, November, December. I may start Macedonian um, in December. Uh, the, be the the end of November towards the beginning of December. Um, I got to get the material translated and whatnot. But um, those two languages, th those are the two languages that I'm going to do, uh, Hungarian and Macedonian. Now, Macedonian is only going to be for three months, and then I'm going to switch that out and choose something else. Um, Hungarian, the same. Well, no, no, no. Hungarian is going to be long term. Hungarian is at least a year. It's one of those languages that I choose. To, um, I would choose to work on for for at least a year. So um, I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait. And um, yeah, so the four languages that I'm going to be working on that you guys are going to be seeing me working on actively are Finnish, Polish, Macedonian, and Hungarian. Okay. So um, <clears throat> Hungarian, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a separate video uh, for those two languages. Um, uh, yeah, for Hungarian and Polish, look for native speakers of those, and um, we gonna we gonna get it moving. Um, I've been real busy lately, trying to get back in the groove. I've been distracted, and um, I know I haven't released any level ups. Um, I actually got one in queue right now on YouTube. All I need to do is sit down and do the subtitles, and um, and I'll be able to release that. I think the video is about forty minutes, so yeah, um, I'm gonna try to get that get that going for you guys. Um, I apologize for this delay. I mean, it's been really crazy. I've been really busy lately. And um, I'm sure, like I said, I'm trying to get back on track and trying to get back in my element here. So <laughs> just want to make that um, my schedule um, a little, 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 a little early, but why not? We, we got about, what, two more months in this year. So that's what's going on with me for my schedule. Let me know what you guys got going on. What are, you, what are your schedule plans for uh, next year? And um, how are your languages going? So other than that, let me see. Anything else I need to mention? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, there you have it. So here comes a new challenger. Or here come the new challengers. <laughs> the Hungarian. The Hungarian and the Macedonian. Very interesting. So that is it. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, you guys have a great one. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Peace.